Hey, hey, hey. I just want to welcome everyone back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. I hope everyone is having a great day today. I'm having a great day because I'm off. I got up this morning. I took my daughter to school, came home, took a little nap because I worked last night. I got off late and I diamond painted until probably about two something in the morning. Then I went to bed. So I took me another little nap, got up, went to Dutch Bros. I don't know if you have a Dutch Bros in your area, um, but I love them. They have what they call Rebel Energy Drinks. And I'm a weird person. I really love energy drinks. I don't want to hear that it's not good for me because it doesn't bother me. They don't give me the jitters or anything like that. Um, but, it, but they do help me um, stay awake and focus and all those good things. And I do it a lot, especially when I'm working weird shifts. Like if I have to get off at 11 o'clock one night and come right back at 6 or 7 the next morning, I got to have something. And I either do an energy drink or a Starbucks, depending on how I'm feeling. Um... But I just wanted to come on, do a kid up and chat, and share some stuff um, with you guys. The first thing I wanted to share was I was watching um, one of the content creators. Her name is Diamond Payne with Jack. Um, she's one of my favorite creators. She's funny. Um, she's new to YouTube as well. And she's always talking about she's on the struggle bus, but I don't think her videos struggle. They're just real funny. Um, she had unboxed some. Coasters and I thought, oh, that's cool. Coasters, you know. I, you know, I think I'm gonna try to find me some. So I went on Amazon looking, and I found coasters with fruit, and I love anything with food. So of course, you know, I'm buying the coasters with the fruit. So I just want to show these too. They came yesterday. I'm assuming this is a cantaloupe. I'm gonna try to guess the fruit if I can figure out what they are. Got a kiwi. And I will put this in the description box if anyone wants to purchase this. I'm thinking this, I'm not sure. I'm thinking, pa I'm going to go with passion fruit. Passion fruit. An apple. Dragon fruit. Could be orange or grapefruit. I don't know, I'm going to go with orange. I guess it's supposed to signify star fruit. Watermelon. A peach. And I want to say this is be like a mango steam, I'm thinking. A lemon. So cool. Mm, I'm not sure about this one. I'm say grapefruit, but I'm not sure. And then they give you these little, they're real thin though, and the coasters are kind of wood. They're little cork boards. I, I, I've seen some on Amazon. I may look and see if they're, if the bottom of my, bottoms of them are a little thicker. Um, Cause the bottoms are to me seem really thin. I don't know. It may work though. I have to test it out and see. If not, I'll try. I'm gonna try to find some better bottles. And then it comes with a little bit of cute little packet of jewelry. Sorry for the sprinkling. And they're all just mostly pretty shiny crystals. I'm just gonna read them off just to kind of show you. Let's see. I didn't even do it from the back side. You can see the colors better because really the, the numbers don't really even mean anything. But then the back part looks all silver, so no, that's not what it is. I just thought this was this is just too sinking cute. I don't want to start working on these. I'm sure I can knock these out pretty fast. I just want to share that with you. I thought that was really cool. I got the idea for diamond paint and jack. So for um 
for the event, um, Mandy's Mind Blowing May. I'm going to be working on The Little Mermaid. It is an, it's an older canvas. Let's see if I can see the top of it. But that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. So we're gonna be I'm gonna be kitting it up today. It is an older kit. It's also, I'm sorry to say, it's discontinued. Um and by being an older kit, I'm gonna have to cut out the the stickers. So Um, show you all these I purchased and I purchased these a long time ago when I first got the kit so I don't even remember Ooh, can I get this open I, you got clothes coming okay um these are my um ABs and sparkles I bought um from T Um and I'm almost certain when I bought this painting that I bought some square ABs to go with it I have 209 square that's in here and also this painting does not have any ABs so um which is probably why I bought some so I'm trying to see what I probably I may have bought I'm trying to see what else I bought I don't know if I look for this I actually have an 820 square that's in this painting I could have bought that can't remember when I took this was like two years ago. But I want to kind of take them out just and I have a 550 square that's in this painting. So probably maybe those three. This is 38. Nope. About 209 square twice. Look at that. Who knows what I bought it for? I just be buying them randomly. I thought it was also cool how Diamond Paint with Jack. She bought a it's like an AB starter pack and it has all these different colors in it. Because I just bought just random ABs. I think I bought this white because I'm gonna try to make the moon white. I think someone put that there too. That's a pretty color. So I'm just gonna 743. Did I buy a yellow too? Uh -huh. And I got two 743. Oh, one's round and one square. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm buying the same thing a hundred times over. Okay, I'm just gonna take those out of my What color are they using for the white? 819. Hmm. I don't know about this, y'all. I'm gonna try and see. I got that too. I'm gonna take both of them out and we'll see which one looks the closest when we get to that. Okay. Sorry for the noise in the oh, for the noise. I really have been trying to work on some of the first kits, you know, that I've purchased because I want to, you know, get through those kits, you know, at some point. And I was trying to see in my purchasing history. Where did this one pop in? This was um, in my second purchase. Um, my second purchase was The Little Mermaid, Hawaiian Girl and Her Dog, and Zulu Love. So, out of my first two purchases, I only had this one. I, have, I mean, this one's another one to knock out. And I still need to do Curl Up with a good book that's kitted up. I think I'm going to show you all in the video maybe everything I have kitted up. That will be kind of cool, I think, to show. So... How I normally do mine is first, 
I cut all the colors apart so I can see how much of each color I have. And I'm kind of just laying them out. Ooh, lots of 13, but we know this is a, a Mandy Manzano, so we definitely are going to get lots of, lots of tea. Lots of um, 310 because everything pretty much is outlined in 310. So. so last night I was sleeping and I kind of woke up a little bit and I stretched. And y'all, when I stretched, I got a trolley horse in my calf that I about died. I hopped up out the bed. I was trying to walk it out. Oh, it hurts so bad. And it seems like every time lately when I do stretch, um, I've been getting a trolley horse. I got to try to stop stretching in my sleep because that was painful. Ooh, look at this 321. It's pretty. Oh, I did have 550. I wonder did I have 550 in the AB. But 550 is so pretty. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. The real 550 is beautiful. This painting has some real pretty blues in it. It really does. Okay, I had to pause real quick. I had to get me a, some washi tape to go on these containers because these are the old labels and they are very sticky. They're not like the more removable labels that we have now. And I picked a washi tape that's kind of um, purpley. It's got grapes and um, figs, plums, food, of course my favorite, to go on my containers. So I always start with the big bags first. So that's 820. So I have a funny story from work. Um, it's not it's not necessarily funny. I'm gonna call it karma. So I was working in the e-commerce department because we had a call out. We had we were running behind. Orders were late. We were having to call customers and push their pickup times back due to this. And it was probably, it was, it was dark outside, um, probably about, I'm not sure the exact time, but I'm going to guess and say 7 o'clock, 7-ish, something like that. And, oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, I'll see that. Um... And where we where our um, e-commerce area is, where customers pick up, is under a canopy that's very well lit at night. But I still don't like going up to just strange cars sitting there, because um, lots of times people they'll park under there. They're not um, picking up an order, and no one was checked in on the board. You know, letting us know that they're there and that they're you know. They're here to pick up their order. So I took out a few orders and the car is still there. And when I took out the next order, I kind of went around the side of the car, but kind of wide. And I stood on, we had just like a concrete median kind of. I stood on the median and I, I was just like, I think at that point, I don't know if her window was already rolled down, but if it wasn't, she rolled down her window. And I was like, I said, hi, ma'am. Are oh, you need some help? Are you just parking here? 
she's like, no, I, um, I've been waiting out here for, I don't remember how long she said, but let's say 20 minutes. May have been long, may have been 30 minutes. And I was like, oh, I said, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I said, you're not checked in on our board. And she was like, well, I checked in. And I said, no, ma'am, I don't have any orders sitting on my board. I said, I'm sorry. Um, and then she said, yes, she did again. I said, and I'm thinking, okay, this is not getting me anywhere. It's gonna, you know, it seems like I'm being argumentative. So I just said, ma'am, I'm so sorry. You know, what is your name? And I go check on your order. So she gave me the name, um, the name for the order. I go inside. I go and I, I look up the name. I don't see the name. Now, the way the system works, it'll show you if a person has picked up or is supposed to pick up that day. We can't see the, the next day, but we can see the, we can search old orders from the day before. I didn't see her um, for today. So I go back outside and I said, ma'am, I don't see your order. I said, do you mind pulling your order up on the phone um, so I can, you know, see what's going on? And she, so first she pulled up like, uh, it was just like the dress of the store. She was like, see? And I was like, ma'am, I said, I need to see the actual order. When you pull the order up, it'll show you where you're supposed to pick up at. So she logs into the app logs into the app. I don't know what she had shown me at first. It may have been a screenshot or something maybe. Because I, I feel like when I first walked up to the car, she was talking to her mom. So it could have been like a screenshot maybe her mom had sent her. And so she, when she signed into the app and she pulled it up um, and then she went to the order, it said that the pickup was another um, store location. And it wasn't even a store that was really close to here. And I was like, ma'am, I was like, um, you have to, you will have to pick your order up at that location. I was like, and when you checked in, it checked in on their computer. And um, she was like, well, you don't have to be so loud. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to be loud. Um, it was just, it's just my voice, you know, to myself. I didn't say it to her. I said, I just apologize. I'm not trying to be loud because she was already very mad and angry. Because you think about it, she had been sitting out there probably for 20, 30 minutes. And what was really weird, which didn't make sense to me, is she never said anything. She didn't call us on the phone to say she was outside. That's what most people do. Like, if they've been out there for, you know, 15 minutes and no one's come out or nothing, you know, they're going to call us. Or I've had people walk up to the door. I've had people, you know, wave me down from their car. She didn't do any of those things. She just sat out there. And so she she was mad because she had sat there so long. She was at the wrong store. And so she really couldn't, I mean, she was mad at me, but she really couldn't get too mad at me because really none of that is really my fault. In the end of the day, I'm sorry, it's not. So, oh, it's blueberries on here too. Oh, this is cute. I like this washi tape. It's got blueberries. I realized that the name of it is in gold. So we're doing 310. And so, you know, it was like karma because it's like you're being real mean and nasty and you're at the wrong you're at the wrong spot. You're not even at the wrong um you're at the wrong location. So she sat there for a little second. I don't know if she was calling her mama or whatever. Probably getting swamped with her poor mama. Because she wasn't a nice girl, I could just tell. And she was just too nasty. And she, and so she sat there for a few more minutes and then she, you know, drove on off and left. I was like, okay. Can't get mad at me for that. And I tried to. And I, and I guess I could have went out there to the car earlier, but I don't like going to strange cars in the middle of the night. And, and most, and, you know, when it's dark. And like I said, all customers either check in or they call. And people do just park there just being smarties. And even if you go out there and say something to them, it's like you can make a move. So I don't even worry about it. That's why I don't really go. I don't go out to cars like that. Not really. So I don't know. Yeah, but she was mad at me. But it was not my fault to me neither. So I don't think I showed you all my Stanley mug of the day. 
This is a new one. I just got her this week. Her color is Alpine. And she has a cute little avocado straw topper to keep her clean. And it's funny because lately I keep losing footage. I'm, I think I'm recording or to stop recording. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's more like, you know, new YouTuber problems. I got to get that figured out. I'm also trying to figure out how I can record a whipping chat because I want to record one. But I don't diamond paint flat. I diamond paint on an easel. So I'm sitting up and it helps where it where uh, my back doesn't hurt because if I was stooped over I know my back would be hurting so I've also I've got to figure out how I can record with me sitting up the way I diamond paint sitting up straight so I don't know I gotta figure that out because I like watching whipping chats I like watch how people place their drills um, that's how I learned to, um, not learn, but that's what made me start multi-placing squares. It's because um, Nurse Rachel, I watched one of her whipping chats, and she was um, multi-placing squares. And I, you know, I always, when, when I started diamond painting, I literally was doing the squares, but I was doing the checkerboard method. So when I saw that you could multiplace and it still looked neat, I was all about it. Oh, see, blackberry and feed. I really like this washi tape, y'all. So we're looking for 323, I mean 823, excuse me. Uh, I like it when I finish this and this video was slow to none. Anytime I kid up or kid down, it takes me all day. And plus the talking makes it even worse. And then these, these little labels just have a little to peel. And I don't have any nails. At my job, having nails is just not conducive. I'll never forget, um, and this was many, many, many years ago. I'm talking about probably 15, probably more than that. Maybe even 20 some years or 19, 18 years ago. I used to wear, um, the you know acrylic nails you get at the nail salon and i had had on nails and i was doing accounting that day and we have um a, we have a real real big safe um and the safe had a kind of it's like a slit probably about that size um where you could stick drops in and I don't know, I wasn't doing a drop or anything, but I don't know what I was doing. But some kind of way, my pointer finger hit that thing just right. And it literally ripped my nail from here up. And I, I thought my nail wasn't going to grow back. And ever since then, I was done with those those fake nails. I'm, I'm not get, never getting them again. Every now, if I want to be fancy, I'll go get like gel polish put over my real nails. But I wish I would. Um, get them nails again where you rip my finger off. I was lucky to have a fingernail back again. And it hurt like the dickens. Oh my gosh, it hurt so bad. It was bleeding and oh, I never, never again. So I do not do those acrylic nails. I'll do my own plain Jane nails. And if I want to be fancy, I'll get like gel polish put on my nails. I'm just not off because what that does to me is it ends up messing up my real nails because when they take the gel polish off, they shave it off with like a, I don't know what that thing is called, the little nail filer, and then it, it, it rubs your real nails down. So I don't really like that either. So I don't know. I don't know if two, if two bags don't fit in this or not. 
But I don't want to get another big one. So what I do, I'll just leave one bag out. That's something else I've been doing too. Like when I first started diamond painting, I wanted to try to make sure every single drill got into a container. But now if it don't fit, I'll just sit the bag to the side. And then when it gets low, I just dump the bag back into the thing. I don't know why I was so, I really, I want, I just want everything to fit in there, but now I don't care. Cause I know it's not all gonna fit no matter what I do. This is just the cutest washi tape. I literally love it. Black something, saying boom, I don't know what that is. Great, but to me that looks like a plum, but that's not what the, the label says. I got a funny story for you guys. So I take blood pressure medicine um, and I take four different pills. And one of them is a real, real strong water pill. And I don't take that bad boy when I have to go to work. I take it when I'm off work because I just can't. And this is the exact reason why. So one morning this, I can't remember what day this week it was. Probably, was it Monday or Tuesday? No, it had to be Monday. It was Monday. I woke up, I was half asleep, wasn't paying attention, and I took, instead of taking my one of my medicines, I took the water pill. They both were white, and I wasn't paying any good attention. But I didn't even realize I took the wrong one at that moment. So I'm getting, you know, getting rid of like normal, drop my daughter off at the YMCA, and then I'm, you know, trucking on to work. Well, probably about... And, I, and when I get on the interstate, I'm getting on the interstate at exit one. I live on off exit one. When I get down to about exit 19, I'm like, man, I got to go to the bathroom. Why do I have to go to the bathroom so bad? And I'm thinking, Shanta, did you take that water pill this morning and not take your other pill? And I thought about it and I said, I probably did. I don't, you know, I don't even remember. So about, you know, I'm, 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 I'm on 19. I'm like, well, I can make it till I get to work. I can make it. So I get to about 20, exit 24, and I'm like, oh, can we make it, you know, to work? Because to my work is, like I say, I drive an hour or something to get to work. So exit 24 is probably about 30 minutes in, roughly a little bit less than 30 minutes in. And I'm like, oh, Lord. So I'm, I'm driving on. I said, nope, I'm not going to make it. So I got to exit. I had to get off at exit 31. Go to the bathroom at, the, at a gas station and go on back to work. It made me late, a little bit late for work, so I hate being late. I was mad. That's why I can, I really cannot. If I take a water pill when I have to go to work, I would have to stop every morning. Who got time for that? Oh, my goodness. It was horrible. I'm like, you got to be kidding. I was like, how did I take the wrong one? Because I, I know better. It's happened. This ain't the first time this has happened. But I'm, that's why I don't take it because it's too strong. And it gets me. And I've been going to the bathroom all morning. And it doesn't last all day. But just for, you know, I don't know, maybe about the first, maybe three or four hours of the scene to the bathroom. So I'm like, nope. I'm not doing it. Okay, do I have any more doubles? I don't think I do. This might be one of the easiest ones I've done. Because I don't have any more doubles. I really can almost do the rest of the little bitty ones. Some of these are kind of big, but they're going one of these. Okay. Just love this little washi tape. I think I got this from, I'm not 100%, but I think this, I don't know. I don't want to say I got it from Timu and it didn't come from Timu. It either was Timu or Amazon. I just can't remember all the ones that was in the Timu order. It may be, it's probably Amazon. So I got a big pack from Amazon too. So let's do three, 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 seven, one.
Yeah, it's not why I want to finish this this video. I'm just too slow. I don't want to hold y'all here for hours. It's fun. Like I said, this morning I went, like I said, they got me a Dutch Brothers Rebel. Which is like I was saying, it's like the energy drink. And it's mixed with like flavors. It's got like peach and I can't remember my flavors, but it's so delicious. And when I was leaving my neighborhood, everybody trash can just blew over. I don't know why it was so, and, it, and it's not on my street. It's like on the main street into the neighborhood. I don't know if someone just walked by and knocked everybody's trash cans over. Because if it was that windy, everybody's trash can would be knocked over. But my train, you know, but no one on my street is knocked over. So I feel like somebody that ran up the street knocking over people's trash cans. Because I'm saying every single trash can was knocked over. And they're empty now. There's nothing in them because they've already picked the trash up. But it's just like every single trash can is knocked over on the street. I remember when I was little. And this, I don't know, this is so silly, y'all. But this really scared me. When I was little in my neighborhood. Um, and, and, and I think in retrospect, I kind of remember maybe my dad talking about. I think maybe some teenagers did this. But they went down up and down the street i remember this is back in the probably in the, it was in the 80s i'm sure because i was born in Pacific. it's probably in the, it was in the 80s and they and you know we had the kind and you know mailboxes are not made like they're made now they they took they unscrewed and took everybody's mailbox off the pole going up and down the street you know i guess it, if the mailbox was brick they didn't do it but and it, I don't know why y'all, but that scared me as a child that someone, you know, went down the street and took everybody's mailbox off. And then after that, my dad got us a, we got a brick mailbox. He was like, I'm not doing this crap no more. We bad teenagers. I think it was teenagers. I, I feel like I kind of remember my mom and dad talking about it, but that scared the crap out of me. I, and I don't know why. And maybe because my room is facing the street, you know, <laughs> where the mailbox was. I don't know. But it scared me as a little kid. And I said, and so I feel like someone ran down the street and was knocking everybody's trash can over, kind of like. And it could have been the kids, like the um, elementary kids, because um, they have to walk to school. They don't. Um, we live so close to the school, they don't let them ride the bus anymore. They used to ride the bus, but it's like a bus shortage now, bus driver shortage, so they make them walk, which I don't think is right, because I don't think elementary kids should um, have to walk to school in today's times when people are, you know, kidnapping kids, and, you know, all, I, I just think they need to provide bus service. I mean, if you can't find bus drivers, I'm sorry, you need to pay them more. And if I would, and if I got to pay a little bit more in taxes to, and, you know, get bus drivers for the kids, I don't mind. I just don't feel like kindergartners and first graders, second, third, they should have to walk to school when it could be people out here trying to get these poor kids. And especially, you know, you got parents that work. That's why my daughter goes to the YMCA. She went to the YMCA anyway because I, their school starts at 8.35. That's when you can first start dropping off. The school starts at like 8.50. And it's no way I could get to ever get to work on time, you know, with her going to school at that time of the day. So we do the YMCA. So she was doing the YMCA, but what if she wasn't doing the YMCA? And it's like, I, I don't want my child, I'm sorry, walking to school. I just don't. Not, I don't care. If, and I live in a really nice neighborhood, and I still don't care. It could be people, crazy people everywhere. And I'm not like one of those crazy, um, overprotective parents. I'm not, but I just don't think that's safe. Just because they can't find bus drivers, pay people more. Because that's why you can't find them, because they don't pay nothing. Like, I remember they had signs on, they had like a bus park with a sign on it all last summer. And they weren't paying them but $15 an hour. And I'm sorry, but kids nowadays are a little bit bad. And don't, don't nobody want to deal with these bad kids getting paid $15 an hour. So the day when I drove by, they got the same bus, same spot. They're, now they're paying $19 an hour. And I know in Nashville, they're paying 20 something now, so they just need to pay more. And you, to me, you also need to give them 40, um, guarantee them 40 hours a week because bus drivers don't get paid 40 hours a week. I mean, they don't. And I'm sorry, but stuff nowadays is expensive. 
And people have to live. And you and people, you know, I I feel like sometimes people are like, well, I'm gonna use my job for example. I work at a grocery store, and I all my life, you know, pe you know, people are like, you work for a grocery store. I'm like, yeah. Even when I was like, when I was a cashier. But what people don't understand is, regardless of if you feel like it's a, you know, a low job or a job that's not important, someone has to do that job. And the person that does that job has to be able to live. And like in Nashville, which is where I work, I don't live in Nashville, but things have gotten very expensive because people from like California and different places are moving into Nashville driving the prices up and it's just it's getting more and more and more expensive living that for you and it's just like if people if and i'm sorry but a grocery store needs grown adults to work in the store you kids can't i mean you, we have kids that work there but kids can't work there 24 7 they're in school they want to do their little fun stuff you have to be able to have adults that work there and they have to be able to have a living wage. And same thing with the school bus driver. They need a living wage. And this is like no one wants to pay people. I don't know. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. But this is like during a pandemic. I mean, people need to eat. We worked the whole pandemic in, in the stores. I just think regardless of, you know, what the job, whether if a person is picking up garbage or whatever it is, that's a essential job that needs to happen. What would you, what would happen if no one ever came to pick up your garbage and you had to lug your trash to the dump? I mean, who wants to do that? But the person that picks up the garbage, even though that may seem like it's a low job, I don't think it's a low job. We need to pay people f for working and pay them where they can make a living. And where they can live comfortable and don't have to be struggling and working two and three jobs. Like a lot of people that work at my job, they work two jobs. They have a full-time job and then they work at my job as a part-time job. I just, I don't know. I don't think everything is always about, you know, yeah, having an education and going to college is great. But the jobs that don't require education still have to be done and people should be get should be paid a living wage should do them. I'm sorry, this is Shanta's opinion. That's why I get I used, I get mad at my own company because I feel like they don't I mean, they've raised the wages but they still don't pay enough. For people to just, you know, to live. Most people, they got roommates and this and that because it's, it's just the rent and stuff has went up. You think they're giving any kind of cost of living raise to the associates? Nope. I mean, you can close your eyes all you want to, but when I lived, when I was in Nashville, and I know this is a long time ago, but I don't care. When I when I was in Nashville, my first my first apartment was two hundred and thirty five dollars a month. My second apartment, which was had which had two bedrooms and was much nicer. Like the first apartment was only one bedroom. It was a little bit apartment. It wasn't you know it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't just nice. That's why the rent was was cheap. But then I went 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 to a really nice apartment that had like a fireplace and it had a you know a dishwasher and all that. And I still only paid four hundred and sixty five dollars a month. Now, for the same apartment that I was living in, people are paying almost $1,400. And I'm sorry, wages don't go up with that, with, that, with that price increase. The wages stay the same, but everyone's cost of living is going up. That's why people are not, are not working some of these jobs, because they can't afford to. They got to work, but they can make some money. I don't think it needs one this big. It's kind of fat, but it's not that fat, I don't think. I don't know. Shanta Soapbox. I'm sorry. If I offended someone, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend. But this is how I feel. I feel like the way the world does stuff is wrong. This is like 
with food stamps. I have no problem with food stamps. I have no problem paying taxes for food stamps. But my problem with food stamps is we don't help the people that's, that's working, that's really trying, that's, and that's working two jobs and can barely make it. We help people more that don't work and don't do anything. I feel like it should be the opposite. Like, we should help people more that's working and trying and, you know, that they have a job. They may need help with daycare or may need, you know, some food stamps to supplement their income. But we won't give them any food stamps, you know. They get nothing. They just better get two or three jobs. But then you got the people that don't work, don't do anything, and they eat better than I do. So I, I don't understand that neither. I feel like people who don't work at all, they should get, um, I think it's called commissary food. I don't know if they do it by anymore, but it used to be like food. That, it, it's nutritious food. It came in a can. It was like the block cheese and the canned beef. If you don't want to work, you don't want to do nothing. In my opinion, now if someone is disabled or something, that's different. But if you're able-bodied, I feel like you should be trying to get a job. Or even if they want to help both people, fine, help both. But help the people that are struggling and that are working hard and trying to make it and just don't make enough. But if you got a job, they're not, they are not going to help you. You can forget it. Did I have? Uh-oh. I had two 939s, and I put in this little bitty container, and I could have put it in this big one. Oh, let me try to correct that. I want to correct. I feel like it's reuse this washer tape. What y'all think? Is this going to work? Ooh, it worked. It worked. It worked. Okay, I'm going to give my soapbox for real. Yeah, I think everybody should deserve help, even the people that are struggling. Like, I have associates, and they work. You know, they work every day, but they need help. And they, they can't get no assistance. If you got people that don't work at all, they get all the assistance. And I said, I don't mind if they want, if, if we want to, if the government wants to help, help people, you know, that's fine. But I think we should be helping everyone a little bit. Because I think if you help people get on their feet and help them, it'll be more people that will work. And that's the problem. We need more people working. People do not want to work anymore, period. We cannot keep um, employees at my job. And it's, I don't consider, I don't think it's a hard job. People just, you know, they'll work. I've had people come to orientation. They complete orientation and never start the first day. I've had people who don't even show up to the orientation. I've had people to work the first day and quit. I've had someone clocked in one minute and quit because his girlfriend got mad and quit. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's just silly stuff. So I don't have the answers. I just think we need to be looking into helping more people some kind of way. Because, or either ways, or raise wages that that could solve the problem too minimum wage is too low and cost of living is too high and if we're trying to and if and everything has gone up in price anyway and and, and that's because of you know a lot of companies are starting to pay more i'm fine with that Cause I really do think people deserve a living wage. Well, guys, I'm going to let you all go because I'll have y'all on here forever. I am not know we're close to finishing, so I'm just going to keep on picking along till I get done. Well, I might take a pause and down the paint for a while because I really want to complete the section of um, the cracking one that I'm working on. Um, I'm trying to think, was there anything else I wanted to tell you all? I don't think so. I'm really excited for this camera. Her colors are, are very pretty. I like the blues and reds and and oranges. She's going to be beautiful when she's done. Even a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to figure out how and where I make and use my ABs. I know I want to make the moon white. I just got to pick which color here. 
Oh, they using this for the moon. It's like a pinky color. Interesting. So I gotta figure out. I don't think I have. Do I have an AB to match that? Or do I wanna just be a rebel and make it white? What should I do? Put it in the comments. Should I try to find an AB to match this? Or should I be a rebel and make my moon white? I am a little bit of a rebel. I kind of march to the beat of my own drum. Yeah, I don't think I have 819. I don't have any. No. That's an interesting color, kind of baby color. I don't think I have any light pink. Well, I have light pink, but not that kind of. I don't know if they even have an A in that color. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look it up and see. If not, you might just baby go white. Uh, tell me what you all think. If y'all have any comments for me, um, please or any thoughts, please leave them in the comments. I will respond as promptly as I can. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.